I'm here at the Hyperdyne booth with Chris Ostertag. And uh, how's the show working out for you guys? It's a fantastic show. I've never seen the kind of target audience and participation at a show as I have here at VMworld. And so Hyper 9 is a new product you just released uh, a month or two ago? Yes, it is. We uh, did a soft launch in June at a Gardner show, and we've done a uh, more public launch with Hyper 9 at the VMworld show. Okay, well, is this something we could take a look at and see a small demo? Absolutely, yeah. We've got somebody prepped and ready to go. It's uh, <laughs> more or less a um, answer to a lot of VI admins' uh, problems and concerns in using current tools. There's a lot of uh, missing information, uh, a lot of uh, diagnostic problems they face, uh, a lot of reporting and and auditing issues that they uh, were trying to overcome for BI admins in helping automate some of the still manual processes they have in trying to manage their virtual environments. Let me turn you over to uh, one of our guys here to give you a quick demo. Great. Hey, Brian. How are you doing? So uh, what we have in front of you is uh, the Hyper9 product. Uh, you can see the, the web interface. and We've actually run a query. Uh, already against all of the uh, existing virtual machines inside our environment. And so as you can see, there's a hundred machines that actually show up and unlike a traditional search engine, one of the things that I want to point out is uh, you don't really get a list back of, of virtual machines as much as you get active content of objects that actually represent multiple things about the virtual machines, including the performance of the virtual machine across some key utilization metrics, the state of the virtual machine, the configuration of the virtual machine, both from a statistical format as well as the sentences that describe its actual make and model. Uh, and from that perspective, what you can do is you have several different directions to go. One of the directions that you can actually head in is you can use the search bar in the search language to expand upon your search and drill down into uh, any number of attributes that we've actually collected data on. And for example, I can create a, a query on the fly using the search language that I might type in or this graphical builder to look at all the machines that have two virtual CPUs and one gig of virtual memory configured. And if I actually run that search, then you'll see that uh, the return results will actually be a much smaller list that matches that search parameter configuration. So here we have the four machines in that environment that match the configuration that we were actually looking at. And so when I'm actually seeing this, that's one mechanism that we can have to navigate through our data. Another mechanism that we have is to actually go through and use our faceting structure, uh, which is essentially a rendering of all of the different attributes that are associated with the data that we're looking at and all the different characteristics of those attributes. So for example, I can see the operating system and the breakdown of the operating systems that I have on this particular search. So for the four machines that show up, or for any machines that actually were to show up in this configuration, you can see the breakdown of the Windows machines. I have two server versions, two desktop versions, and then I can continue to drill down into exactly which versions of Windows I have, um, and I can continually add that characteristic to my search as a filter that will then subsequently get applied and refocus the results on just those characteristics. And I can do that for any number of the attributes that we have available under management. So you can continuously hone in on the specific virtual machines that are of interest in your environment. And then once you get there, you can do an intensely detailed analysis of the configuration of those machines by selecting any one of the machines and running through what we call a DNA comparison. The DNA comparison will actually enumerate all of the collected attributes about that machine uh, and allow you to view the information uh, in both a comparison format for one machine to itself over time or potentially two virtual machines at any point in time. So the wonderful fact here is that I can actually look at how my machine was configured today and what the differences are between how it was configured two days ago. So if I'm having some sort of performance problem in the interim, I can analyze the configuration for changes and discover if those configuration changes were the cause of any performance issues. And I can do that, as I said, for one VM historically or for multiple VMs. For example, in some web server cluster, I can examine for anomalies amongst the configuration of those web servers. 
So that's many ways that you can actually leverage VMDNA to uh, diagnose a root cause analysis on many types of configuration performance related issues. Then in addition to that, one of the things that we actually have is the ability to actually create commentary on any and all of the configuration and changes that you're making to the environment. So what we have here is a list or a journal of all the notes that have been applied that essentially describe not necessarily perhaps what you've done, that is captured in events, but perhaps why you did it and what those changes uh, mean to any other virtual infrastructure administrators who are interested in managing the same objects that you do. So notes are a great example of how we can contain uh, some decorations of the data uh, and allow you to search over those and uh, essentially create that commentary in that journal uh, for your environment. And then the very last thing that I actually wanted to show you is the ability for us to save our searches. When we do build an interesting search, we have a multitude of search options. We can save them all off and create libraries of saved searches that allow you to search over things like patches that may have been installed, uh, searching for particular services that may be running inside the guest operating systems, searching for VMs that may have uh, connected media and potentially cause problems with vMotion activities, as well as search for, as you saw, particular configurations. And you can save all those wonderful things up and run them at any time and share them with any administrator you'd like. So, so that is, uh, that's the basic demonstration. That's uh, essentially what we're uh, announcing here at the show and, and uh, what's going to be made available in the beta program. Great. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Thank you.